Andrea Palladio was an Italian architect active in the Republic of Venice. Palladio, influenced by Roman and Greek architecture, primarily by Vitruvius, is widely considered to be the most influential individual in the history of architecture. All of his buildings are located in what was the Venetian Republic, but his teachings, summarized in the architectural treatise, The Four Books of Architecture, gained him wide recognition. The city of Vicenza and the Palladian Villas of the Benito are UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Biography Palladio was born on November 30, 1508 in Padua and was given the name, Andrea di Pietro della Gondola. His father, Pietro, called della Gondola, was a miller. From early on, Andrea Palladio was introduced in the work of building. In Padua he gained his first experiences as a stonecutter in the sculpture workshop of Bartolomeo Cavazza da Sassano, who is said to have imposed particularly hard working conditions. At the age of 16 he moved to Vicenza where he would reside for most of his life. Here he became an assistant in the Pedmiro studio, a leading workshop of stonecutters and masons. He joined a guild of stonemasons and bricklayers. He was employed as a stonemason to make monuments and decorative sculptures. These sculptures reflected the Mannerist style of the architect Michel San Micheli. Perhaps the key moment that sparked Palladio's career was being employed by the humanist poet and scholar, Gian Giorgio Trissino, from 1538 to 1539. While Trissino was reconstructing the Villa Cricoli, he took interest in Palladio's work. Trissino was heavily influenced by the studies of Vitruvius, who later influenced Palladio's own ideals and attitudes toward classical architecture. As the leading intellectual in Vicenza, Trissino stimulated the young man to appreciate the arts, sciences, and classical literature and he granted him the opportunity to study ancient architecture in Rome. It was also Trissino who gave him the name by which he became known, Palladio an allusion to the Greek goddess of wisdom Pallas Athen and to a character of a play by Trissino. Indeed, the word Palladio means wise one. After Trissino's death in 1550, Palladio benefited from the patronage of the Barbera brothers, Cardinal Daniel Barbera, who encouraged his studies of classical architecture and brought him to Rome in 1554, and his younger brother Marc Antonio Barbera. The powerful Barbaras introduced Palladio to Venice, where he finally became Proto della Serenissima after Jacopo Sanzovino. In addition to the Barbaras, the Corner, Foscari, and Pisani families supported Palladio's career. Andrea Palladio began to develop his own architectural style around 1541. The Palladian style, named after him, adhered to classical Roman principles he rediscovered, applied, and explained in his works. Andrea Palladio is known to be one of the most influential architects in Western architecture. His architectural works have been valued for centuries as the quintessence of high Renaissance calm and harmony. He designed many palaces, villas, and churches, but Palladio's reputation, initially, and after his death, has been founded on his skill as a designer of villas. The Palladian villas are located mainly in the province of Vicenza, while the palazzi are concentrated in the city of Vicenza and the churches in Venice. A number of his works are now protected as part of the World Heritage Site City of Vicenza and the Palladian Villas of the Veneto. Other buildings by Palladio are to be found within the Venice and its Lagoon World Heritage Site. Palladio's first major public project began when his designs for building the lodges for the town hall, known as the Basilica Palladiana, were approved in 1548. He proposed an addition of two-story stone buttresses reflecting the Gothic style of the existing hall while using classical proportions. The construction was completed in 1617 after Palladio's death. Aside from Palladio's designs, his publications contributed to Palladianism. During the second half of his life, Palladio published many books, above all, I Quattro Libri della Chitetera. Palladio is most known for his designs of villas and palaces as well as his books. The precise circumstances of his death are unknown. Palladio died in 1580, retold in tradition, in Mesa, near Treviso, and was buried in the church of Santa Corona in Vicenza. 
Since the 19th century his tomb is located in the Cimitero Maggiore of Vicenza. Cultural context Palladio's architecture was not dependent on expensive materials, which must have been an advantage to his more financially pressed clients. Many of his buildings are of brick covered with stucco. Stuccoed brickwork was always used in his villa designs in order to portray his interpretations of the Roman villa typology. In the later part of his career, Palladio was chosen by powerful members of Venetian society for numerous important commissions. His success as an architect is based not only on the beauty of his work, but also for its harmony with the culture of his time. His success and influence came from the integration of extraordinary aesthetic quality with expressive characteristics that resonated with his clients' social aspirations. His buildings served to communicate, visually, their place in the social order of their culture. This powerful integration of beauty and the physical representation of social meanings is apparent in three major building types, the urban palazzo, the agricultural villa, and the church. Relative to his trips to Rome, Palladio developed three main palace types by 1556. In 1550, the Palazzo Chiricati was completed. The proportions for the building were based on musical ratios for adjacent rooms. The building was centralized by a tripartite division of a series of columns or colonnades. In 1552, the Palazzo Isipo Porto located in Vicenza was rebuilt incorporating the Roman Renaissance element for four sectionades. A colonnade of Corinthian columns surrounded a main court. The Palazzo Antonini in Upton, constructed in 1556, had a centralized hall with four columns and service spaces placed relatively toward one side. He uses styles of incorporating the six columns, supported by pediments, into the walls as part of the four section aid. This technique had been applied in his villa designs as well. Palladio experimented with the plan of the Palazzo Isipo Porto by incorporating it into the Palazzo theme. It was an earlier project from 1545 to 1550 and remained uncompleted due to elaborate elevations in his designs. He used Mannerist elements such as stucco surface reliefs and large columns, often extending two stories high. In his urban structures he developed a new improved version of the typical early Renaissance palazzo. Adapting a new urban palazzo type created by Bramante in the house of Raphael, Palladio found a powerful expression of the importance of the owner and his social position. The main living quarters of the owner on the second level were clearly distinguished in importance by use of a pedimented classical portico, centered and raised above the subsidiary and utilitarian ground level. The tallness of the portico was achieved by incorporating the owner's sleeping quarters on the third level. Within a giant two story classical colonnade, a motif adapted from Michelangelo's Capitolian buildings in Rome. The elevated main floor level became known as the Piano Nobile, and is still referred to as the first floor in continental Europe. Palladio also established an influential new building format for the agricultural villas of the Venetian aristocracy. Palladio's approach to his villa designs was not relative to his experience in Rome. His designs were based on practicality and employed few reliefs. He consolidated the various standalone farm outbuildings into a single impressive structure, arranged as a highly organized whole, dominated by a strong center and symmetrical side wings, as illustrated at Villa Barbera. In the project of the Villa Barbera, Palladio most likely was also engaged in the interior decoration. Alongside the painter Paolo Baronese, he invented the complex and sophisticated illusionistic landscape paintings that cover the walls of various rooms. The Villa Rotunda of 1552, outside Vicenza, was constructed as a summer house with views from all four sides. The plan has centralized circular holes with wings and porticos expanding on all four sides. Palladio began to implement the classical temple front into his design of four section adders for villas. He felt that to make an entry appear grand, the Roman temple front would be the most suitable style. The Palladian villa configuration often consists of a centralized block raised on an elevated podium, accessed by grand steps, and flanked by lower service wings, as at Villa Fiscari and Villa Budoa. This format, with the quarters of the owners at the elevated center of their own world, 
found resonance as a prototype for Italian villas and later for the country estates of the British nobility. His villas were used by a capitalist gentry who developed an interest in agriculture and land. The configuration was a perfect architectural expression of their worldview, clearly expressing their perceived position in the social order of the times. His influence was extended worldwide into the British colonies. Palladio developed his own prototype for the plan of the villas that was flexible to moderate in scale and function. The Palladian villa format was easily adapted for a democratic worldview, as may be seen at Thomas Jefferson's Monticello and his arrangement for the University of Virginia. It also may be seen applied as recently as 1940 in Pope's National Gallery in Washington, D.C., where the public entry to the world of high culture occupies the exalted center position. The rustication of exposed basement walls of Victorian residences is a late remnant of the Palladian format, clearly expressed as a podium for the main living space for the family. Similarly, Palladio created a new configuration for the design of Catholic churches that established two interlocking architectural orders, each clearly articulated, yet delineating a hierarchy of a larger order overriding a lesser order. This idea was in direct coincidence with the rising acceptance of the theological ideas of St. Thomas Aquinas, who postulated the notion of two worlds existing simultaneously, the divine world of faith, and the earthly world of humans. Palladio created an architecture which made a visual statement communicating the idea of two superimposed systems, as illustrated at San Francesco dell'Ovna. In a time when religious dominance in Western culture was threatened by the rising power of science and secular humanists, this architecture found great favor with the Catholic Church as a clear statement of the proper relationship of the earthly and the spiritual worlds. Influence Although his buildings are all in a relatively small part of Italy, Palladio's influence was far-reaching. One factor in the spread of his influence was the publication in 1570 of his architectural treatise, I quattro libri dell'architettura, which set out rules others could follow. The first book includes studies of decorative styles, classical orders, and materials. The second book included Palladio's town and country house designs and classical reconstructions. The third book is bridge and basilica designs, city planning designs, and classical halls. The fourth book included information on the reconstruction of ancient Roman temples. Before this landmark publication, architectural drawings by Palladio had appeared in print as illustrations to Daniel Barbera's commentary on Vitruvius. Interest in his style was renewed in later generations and became fashionable throughout Europe, for example in parts of the Loire Valley of France. In Britain, Inigo Jones, Elizabeth Wilbraham, and Christopher Wren embraced the Palladian style. In his Italian journey, Johann von Goethe describes Palladio as a genius, commending his unfinished convent of St. Maria della Carita as the most perfect existing work of architecture. Another admirer was the architect, Richard Boyle, 4th Earl of Cork, also known as Lord Burlington, who, with William Kent, designed Chiswick House. The influence of Palladio even spread to America. Thomas Jefferson loved that style of architecture and the United States Capitol building is an example of a slightly evolved version of Palladio's works. The 111th Congress of the United States of America called him the father of American architecture. Exponents of Palladianism include the 18th century Venetian architect, Giacomo Leoni, who published an authoritative four volume work on Palladio and his architectural concepts. More than 330 of Palladio's original drawings and sketches still survive in the collections of the Royal Institute of British Architects, most of which originally were owned by Inigo Jones. Jones collected a significant number of these on his grand tour of 1613 Euro 1614, while some were a gift from Henry Wotton. The Center for Palladian Studies in America, Incorporated, a non-profit membership organization, was founded in 1979 to research and promote understanding of Palladio's influence in the architecture of the United States. In 2010, the National Building Museum in Washington, D.C. created an exhibition dedicated solely to Palladio and his legacy. The exhibition, titled Palladio and His Legacy, A Transatlantic Journey, was open to the public until January 2011. Chronology of the Works 
Note, the chronology is generally referred to the project of the works, not to the construction. Equals Villas equals. 1534, Villa Tricino Acricoli, Vicenza, 1537, Villa Godi, for Girolamo, Pietro and Marcantonio Godi, Lonido di Lugo di Vicenza, 1539 circa, Villa Pivene, Lonido di Lugo di Vicenza, Province of Vicenza, before 1542, Villa Gasotti, for Taddeo Gasotti, Bertizina, Vicenza, 1542, Villa Valmarana, for Giuseppe and Antonio Valmarana, Vigardolo di Monticello Contiotto, Province of Vicenza, 1542, Villa Pisani, for Vettito, Marco and Daniel Pisani, Bagnolo di Lonigo, Province of Vicenza, 1542, Villa Thien, for Marcantonio e Adriano Thien, Quinto Vicentino, Province of Vicenza, 1546 circa, Villa Contarini di Gli Scrigni, for Paolo Contarini and Brothers, Piazzola Sul Brenta, Province of Padua, 1547, Villa Analdi, for Vincenzo Analdi, Milado di Zarigo, Province of Vicenza, 1548 circa, Villa Saraceno, for Biagio Saraceno, Finale di Agagliaro, Province of Vicenza, 1548, Villa Angarano, for Giacomo Angarano, Bassano del Grappa, Province of Vicenza, 1549, Villa Pagana, for Bonifacio Pagana, Pagana Maggiore, Province of Vicenza, after 1550, Villa Chiracati, for Giovanni Chiracati, Bansamalio di Grimolo del Abades. Province of Vicenza, 1552, Villa Cornero, for Giorgio Cornero, Piombino Dace, Province of Padua, 1552 Circa, Villa Pisani, for Francesco Pisani, Montagnana, Province of Padua, 1553 Circa, Villa Ragana Secchetto, per Girolamo Ragana, Zol di Montegaldella, Province of Padua, 1553 Circa e 1567, Villa Tricino, Milado di Zarigo, Province of Vicenza, 1554, Villa Porto, for Paolo Porto, Vivaro di Giuaville, Province of Vicenza, 1554 Circa, Villa Barbera, for Daniel and Marcantonio Barbera, Mesa, Province of Trevviso, 1554. Villa Fiscari called La Malcontenta, for Nicola Squared and Alvise Fiscari, Malcontenta di Myra, Province of Venice, 1554. Villa Zeno, for Marco Zeno, Donegal di Sesalto, Province of Trevviso, 1554. Villa Musnigo Sopra La Brenta, Dolo, Province of Venice, 1554 a Euro 1555 circa, Villa Badoa called La Badoa, for Francesco Badoa, Frater Polacine, Province of Rovigo, before 1556, Villa Emo, for Leonardo Emo, Fanzolo di Vedligo, Province of Trevviso. 1556, Villa Thien, for Francesco Thien and Sons, Sacona di Villa Franca Padovana, Province of Padua, 1560. Villa Repita, for Mario Repita, Piazza Vecchia, Campiglia dei Beresi, Province of Vicenza, 1561 Circa, Big Barques of Villa Pisani, Bagnolo di Lonigo, Province of Vicenza, 1562, Villa Zarigo called La Miga, for Annabel Sarigo. Miega di Colonna Veneta, Province of Verona, 1563 Circa, Villa Valmarana, for Gian Francesco Valmarana, Ziera di Bolzano Vicentino, Province of Vicenza, after 1564, Villa Forni Serrato, for Girolamo Forni, Montecchio Precalcino, Province of Vicenza, 1565, Villa Sarigo, for Marcantonio Sirago. Santa Sofia di Pedemonte di San Pietro in Cariano, Province of Verona. 1566 a Euro 1567, Villa Almerico Capra called La Rotonda, for Paolo Almerico, Vicenza, 1570, Villa Porto, for Isipo da Porto, Molina di Malo, Province of Vicenza. Equals palaces equals, 1540, Palazzo Savina, for Giovanni Giacomo, Pier Antonio. Vincenzo and Francesco Savina, Vicenza, 1542, Palazzo Thien, for Marcantonio and Adriano Thien, Vicenza, 1545, Palazzo Garz Adrian Contrioncoli, 
for Girolamo Garzadri, Vicenza, 1546 a Euro 1549, Loggias of the Palazzo della Region, Vicenza, 1546 circa, Palazzo Porto, Ferisipo da Porto, Vicenza, 1548, Palazzo Volpin contra Gazel, for Antonio Volp, Vicenza, 1550, Palazzo Chiricati, for Girolamo Chiricati, Vicenza, 1555 circa 1566 circa, Palazzo Pagiana, for Vincenzo Pagiana, Vicenza. 1555 circa, Palazzo Dalla Tor, for Gian Battista Dalla Tor, Verona, 1555. Palazzo Pawayana in Contra San Tommaso, for Bonificio Pagiana, Vicenza, 1555 a Euro 1556. Palazzo Garzadri, for Gian Battista Garzadri, Peleg, Vicenza, 1556 circa, Palazzo Antonini, for Floriano Antonini, Ad, after 1556, Loggia Valmarana in the Giardini Salvi, for Gianluigi Valmarana, Vicenza, 1557 a Euro 1558, Palazzo Tresino and Contra Rael, for Francesco and Ludovico Tresino, Vicenza, 1559, Casa Cogolo, for Pietro Cogolo, traditionally known as Casa del Palladio, Vicenza, 1560, Palazzo Eo, for Bernardo Eo, Vicenza, after 1561, Palazzo della Torre I Portini della Bra, for Gian Battista della Torre, Verona, 1564, Palazzo Pretorio, for the Town Council, Cividale. Del Friuli, Province of Uden, 1564, Palazzo Angaran, for Giacomo Angaran, Vicenza, after 1564, Palazzo Capra al Corso, for Giulio Capra, Vicenza, 1565, Palazzo del Capitaniato, for the Town Council, Vicenza, 1565, Palazzo Valmarana, for Isabella Norgerola Valmarana, Vicenza, 1569, Palazzo Barbaran da Porto, for Montano Barbarano, Vicenza, 1571, Palazzo Porto in Piazza Castello, for Alessandro Porto, Vicenza, 1572. Palazzo Thien Bon in Longer, for Francesco Thien, Vicenza, 1574. Rooms of Palazzo Ducale, Venice. Equals Church Architecture equals, 1531, Portal for the Church of Santa Maria Deri Silvi, Vicenza, 1537, Monument to Girolamo Eo, Bishop of Vaison in the Cathedral of Vicenza, 1558. Dome of the Cathedral, Vicenza, 1559, for Section Aid for the Basilica of San Pietro di Castello, Venice, 1560, Refectory of the Monastery of San Giorgio Maggiore, Venezia, 1560, Convento della Carita, Venice, 1560, Monument to Giano Fregasso in the Church of Santa Anastasia of the Dominicans, for a Col Fregasso, Verona, after 1563. Funeral Monument to Luigi Visconti. In the cloister of the chapter in the Basilica of St. Anthony, Padua, 1564, North Portal and Almerico Chapel in the Vicenza Cathedral, for Paolo Almerico, Vicenza, 1564, for Section Aid for the Church of San Francesco dell'Avna, for Giovanni Grimani, Venice, 1565, Church of San Giorgio Maggiore, for the Congregation of Santa Justina, Venice. 1574, for Section Aid for San Petronio Basilica, Bologna, 1574 or 1579. Church of Lizitol, Venice, 1576 circa, Valmarana Chapel in the Church of Santa Corona, for Isabella Norgerola Valmarana, Vicenza, 1576, Church of Il Redentor, Venice, 1578, Church of Santa Maria Nova, Vicenza, 1580. Church of Santa Lucia, Venice, 1580, Church of Villa Barbera, for Marcantonio Barbera, Mesa, Province of Treviso. Equals other equals. 1536, Portal of the Domus Comestibilis, Vicenza, 1550, Bridge on Sisman, Sisman del Grappa, Province of Vicenza, 1556, Arco Bolani, for Domenico Bolani, Uden, 1561. Wooden Theatre in the Basilica for the play Lima Costanti by Alessandro Pisolomini, 
for the Academia Olimpica, Vicenza, 1562, Wooden Theatre in the Basilica for the play Sophonisba by Gian Giorgio Trissino, for the Academia Olimpica, Vicenza, 1566, Rialto Bridge, Venice, 1567. 1569, Ponte Vecchio, Bassano del Grappa, Province of Vicenza, 1569-1580. Bridge on Ticina, Torre di Corsolo, Province of Vicenza, 1576, Arco del Scullet, for Giacomo Brogadino, Vicenza, 1579, Portage Mona, for the Town Council, San Daniel del Friuli, Province of Uden, 1580, Titro Olimpico, for the Academia Olimpica, Vicenza. References External links, Palladio and Britain Online Exhibition from the Royal Institute of British Architects, Palladio and the Veneto Online Exhibition from the Royal Institute of British Architects Palladio Centre and Museum in Vicenza, Italy, the Centre for Palladian Studies in America, Inc. Palladio's Italian Villas website which includes material by the owners of Villa Cornero, Quincentenary of Andrea Palladio's Birth a Euro Celebration Committee describes a major exhibition touring venues in Italy, the United Kingdom, and the United States. Official website of the 500 Years Exhibition in Vicenza Euro Italy, Andrea Palladio. Catholic Encyclopedia 1913. Andrea Palladio on Empty Cannon, Andrea Palladio, His Life and Legacy, at the Royal Academy, Review, The Telegraph. February 2, 2009, David Lindley on the influence of Andrea Palladio, How I Spent a Few Days in Palladio's World, The Wall Street Journal, March 3, 2009, All He Surveyed, Paul Goldberger, The New Yorker, March 30, 2009, Principles of Palladio's Architecture, 2, Journal of the Warburg and Courtauld Institutes, 1945, Nature and Antiquity in the Work of Andrea Palladio. Journal of the Society of Architectural Historians, September 2000, Digital Images of 1721 and 1742 edition of the Architecture of A. Palladio, Quattro Libri dell'Architettura from the Rare Book and Special Collections Division of the Library of Congress, Andrea Palladio Architecture on Google Maps.